and welcome to another game with Fritterbug Gaming. Today's game is Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Last week when we played, we got through the lowest portion of the map, but this week we have somewhere new to go. I don't know if it's a new room, a new location, or what, but I am hoping that it is not surrounded in pigs. So let's jump on in and hope that we can survive today's crazy adventure. Alright, so I'm hoping that today we will get a little bit luckier and maybe come across our children. If it is even possible to come across our children. I'm just hoping that this father figure has not done something to harm his children in any way. <coughs> um, all I can say is that with the way the amnesia stories have lined up so far, it is very possible that that could happen. Ooh, it is so dark in here. I don't know if I am too, you know, excited about going in this door. <laughs> and we're not going to find anything in here. We got a broom. Oh, I don't know how good that'll, that'll be because they haven't used it to clean up in here. Was there anywhere we needed to go in here or is it literally just a little room for you to walk into? Well, maybe we do have a little path. And when they first said daddy, my heart was molten. The heart of the machine, sorry. <laughs> and when they first said daddy, my heart was molten. As if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. Okay. And they were inseparable, always together. One soul and two bodies. And my love was all consuming. I would die for you. I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood. And I am come for you now, my darling boys. See, it does make me wonder, is there something that he's done to his kids? Never really easy to tell. Stop. No unauthorized persons to enter this facility by order of the management. Well, I'm seeing either sewage underneath or water. I, you know, and I'm just going to go ahead and take it as sewage because I doubt that that's going to be water. Um, was there anything in here? Hmm. Nothing that I'm seeing, so we're going to go the other path. The more and more we get into the stories, the more and more it sounds as if he's done something to his children. We may not be going down to search for children. We may be going down to search for bones. I think he may have put them out of their misery so that way they wouldn't have to see this hideous world, or so he's saying. How did you know? I mean, is there a sensor or something? Uh, 
Ooh. I don't know about getting into any just random elevator. I've never met you before, elevator. What's about to happen? I'm not liking the sound. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little freaked out right now. Where are we going? Is it gonna be to my death? I think we're here. Oh, is that all you have to say? <laughs> I would be saying, what have I done? <laughs> oh, there is no way I'm going to have any idea of where to go. So we're just going to go towards the, what does it say? The red control rod control room. Okay. <laughs> is that the better idea or should we go up the stairs first? Oh, it's so ominously quiet. Huh. Okay. So up here we've got, I don't know what room. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are my heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn, all to save them. So, so very disturbed by his thought process. I'm wondering if something did happen to his kids, if this has something to do with something he's done to his kids. Oh, how is one to ever know? Well, clearly we're not supposed to be messing with those yet. So I guess the room with the rods is the only room to go in as of right now. Yes. So we're going to make our way in here. I don't think we're supposed to mess with any of those. We'll, see. we'll just go ahead and start. Should I even do this until I know what I'm doing? Eh. Do I ever honestly know what I'm doing? <laughs> it's always debatable. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the poor. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. So, I am starting to wonder if maybe instead of hurting them, if he maybe did the same type of procedure that he did on the pigs on his children. And maybe that's why they think that it's a humane way about it. I honestly can't tell. Come on. That button does not want to move. Come on. Come on. 
So it seems our eight and our three are locked. Something's going on here. So system offline, manual restart needed. Um, I don't think there's anything over here we're supposed to mess with. Somehow. Not liking the sounds that I'm hearing for sure. I don't know if there's something in here I'm supposed to be messing with. I am so nervous about what is to come though. Well, fine. We'll go in here and find out what it is that you want us to find. Huh. Who needs a ladder? I don't need a ladder. We're going to be like Leon Kennedy and jump everywhere. Eh, not down that one. Oh, that's only creepy. Danger. Compound X. Highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic. So that one's the only one that we're, we don't have a bar down into. Is that the only thing it was, was that that wasn't open? Now we can try it maybe. I don't know if there's something else we've got to do or not because it didn't exactly tell us. We're just going on whim. with whatever we can find. Okay, for some reason I thought I was moving without my controlling it. I was like, what is going on? Now let's try it. Okay, so we've got all of them going now. Okay, so there's three little areas lit up with this. And I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or what's going on with that. Is there something in here? Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. Wait, we missed something. Wait, what was that? A final act of sabotage? The has been here too. This is... The, the epicenter of this med of his meddlings. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction, and then I will render the sabotage imp impotent once and for all. Okay, so we're going to make our way this way. I don't think it really matters which set of stairs we go up, as long as we... I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Where they at? Where they at? Where's my kids? 
I don't see them. I thought I was. What just happened? So what's happened? Does that mean Mendes is dead too? Have I died? What just happened? Mendes Saboteur. Returning from Mexico, I was struck again by London's filth. The squalor, the miasma, the rot. We should cut free the dead flesh. Allow this wound to heal anew. Sight. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the rickety bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Okay, so we're underground still. I have no clue where we're at exactly. Have of course, I haven't had a clue where we've been at so far in the game, so. Did we? Uh, my cat is down here sniffing my fingers while I'm playing on the keyboard. What is it? Do my hands smell interesting? <laughs> All right, so clearly we're gonna have to go in this store. What I am wondering is maybe the person who works with Mendes has done something to his children and I am afraid of what is to come. I mean, were they twin boys? December 29th, 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man on release, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin in it again? Are our souls just this, tiny cogwheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that upon reflection we might set to a new task? Can a man defined by his actions Defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to a sabotaging his bo this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. 
As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Boy, you're kind of sitting there on my keyboard. You're going to have to move. You've gotten way too big. Yeah, you stay right there. Okay, so we've got all these little piggy masks. And I do not have a clue where they came from. Wait, before I go up, is there anything behind me? You have a thing about sitting in front of people, don't you? Can't really see, so give me one moment. <laughs> Big old cat likes to sit right in front of me. <laughs> okay, so what does this say? Pressure regulation. So are we to regulate the pressure? He's hurt your kids. Turned your kids into some sort of... Are you enjoying my screenplay? I tell you what, why don't we go over here again? <laughs> okay, so we've got a control here or no? <coughs> okay, do we have to pull these pieces up? You want your machine working? You're gonna have to give my kids back alive. Because <laughs> I'm gonna hang on to this until you give me my kids. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. We're gonna take and launch it, well, out there. Now try to get it. <laughs> well, I've shut everything off now. What are you doing, sweetie baby? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? Exactly what he said. <laughs> August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have provide, proved indisp indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies in the pipes to scrub and recon the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back to the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in after to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell you, tell me you can reach all matter, manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. I, I just want to say I do believe that he has harmed the kids. There's got to be something I can do right here. I mean, it's not letting me grab hold of this or nothing. So, am I just in the wrong location? Do I need to go somewhere else? Oh, what's wrong? Has your... Does that mean I can get through here? Oh, I can. Hello. Should I be nervous going down here? 
Something just tells me I should. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns the tremendous, but it purifies and it makes a new. You've hurt my children! To carve out the feeble flesh. Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask yourself this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me. Yeah, they break my heart. They they give me They gave me a teddy. They gave me my kid's teddy. I can't see down here. It's difficult to see. All the items. What happened to my kids? Where are my kids at? I can't see at all. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. It was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. Oh, that was a piggy walking away. I'm not gonna act like it wasn't because it was most definitely a piggy. December 1st, 1899, there is a spoon of medicine, I, I says, and it's a silver spoon, what you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard, it was a little screaming red fist. Later, you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. The spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls. You ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole. Where will you dig next, I ask? You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spoon spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what ha am I become? You know what I have to say? I honestly don't care. There may be a piggy over here, but what does that bother me? It's not like that piggy can climb a ladder. <laughs> Clearly, you can't go up that way. So maybe I do have something to worry about. Oh, I will break everything in here if I have to. Where's my kids? What have you done to them? I want to see them now. Or everything will get broken into a million pieces. You don't believe me? Watch and see. Watch and see. So what if everything's shaking? It's not like it bothers me. Now I just gotta find the next path that I can tear up. Oh, is there something over here I can tear up? That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going over this path yet. 
Not just yet, anyway. Who knows? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Um... Steam vent access only at low pressure. So we've got to find a way to break the pressure. Oh yeah, we'll break every door we can. You guys only think you're gonna keep your stuff up and going. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're wrong. I'm gonna break it all down. Every last bit of it. Yep, that's not happening. It is still not happening. Well, we've messed up that one. Well, what can I do here? Let's see. Should be low pressure now. I'm pretty sure I made him all mad. But you know what? You don't mess with Mandis's children. Well, it looks like my path has closed. So now which side do I go supposed to go into? Clearly not that one. There's an opening right here, so we're gonna have to go down. I don't know. Let's make sure there's nothing else over here that we're gonna have to go through. No, nope, of course. We have stumbled on the right area. Ah, steam. I will break down your whole machine. I don't care how long it takes me. Oh, you think it's going to be that easy to just take me out? I don't think so. I feel better about myself already. Now where are we going? <laughs> Anything to save them. Burn away, burn away the remnants, the parts that will not process, the waste, the offal of your world. They grit the system and stick the wheels to the temple floor. His poor kids didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve any harm that came to them. So they better be just fine or all of your machines will be taken down. When do we get to this floor? Hmm. 
What have I started? Is there a way to get out? I honestly don't know. So where am I supposed to be heading? I mean, it didn't exactly tell me anywhere. Oh, well that clearly wasn't the path. Okay, so we came out of there. There's no path extra, I don't believe, besides the path that we're walking. So we've just got to find our way out of this area. Well, I got myself stuck back here. Children, remember, silence of the hard work are the roads to heaven. Well, clearly I'm not jumping over that, but there is a little path through here. Um... All we meant was to get our children. October 25th, 1899. No one misses the poor. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. This privilege, this pretension, these so-called leaders, these pillars of society, these rich and fanciful, they wear their filth on the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them and we will feed them, feed from them. So disturbed. Um, I know this can't be our final area that we go to, clearly. We've got somewhere else to go. Okay then, we're just gonna, nope. Burner Street. Clearly, we're not going that way. Follow the children, follow the children, follow the children. Where'd they go? They disappeared. Where did my children go? Okay, let's see what that said. 
London's burning, London's burning. God forgive me, what have I unleashed? I stand and smell the burning city. I see ash upon the wind. I hear the roars of the sickening beasts and their screams as they fall upon the city and drag its people below for the slaughter. Now I begin to understand what the other composite ingredients of Compound X must be. And I also understand this. It is my responsibility now. I must find a way back to the heart of the machine and complete what I started. What did you start, Mendes? What did you start? For some reason, I thought the kids came in here, but clearly they did not. So does that mean I'm going back inside where I began? No, that's not the right area. Okay, so we're going this direction. Oh, that door is now locked. So clearly, we've gone the only way we can. Um, there's got to be another door that's opened up somewhere, right? Clearly, there's no going in there to say that, lady. Sorry, lady. The chaos is everywhere. Oh, boy. I have no clue where we're supposed to be even going. December 23rd, 1899, I stand and look at myself in the mirror, and my reflection grins at me, in, and his mouth is full of sulfur mustards. Vain fool, he sneers, are you really so very different? Do you genuinely believe your works of evil are greater than the rest of them? You are simply a weak man, a product of this age, the same as any other. This is empire, Creedon. This is the killing idiocy, the natural result of the social Darwinish, Darwinism. If you are evil, this is the world. Of the world, then this world is evil. You just let the blood run in the street rather than hiding it in the poorhouse. You hold the blade and slide it home yourself. You do not pay a man to do this for you, where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is an honest evil, and that alone makes you. Uber mesh, minch, and thus I wash my hands and take no bed, take to bed. I have no clue what I'm supposed to even be doing. I think I came in that door. So I literally just did a big circle. Okay. Okay, so I've got to find out what it is that I'm supposed to be doing because I honestly have no clue. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and call it right here, ladies and gentlemen. I know we've been going for about 45 minutes now, so it is the perfect time to throw in the flag. I'm going to find me a little room that's... 
I would say I was going to find me a room, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave this door open, and we're going to... Uh, we can't plant our tuchus on a box. Okay, so if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like, share, and subscribe, and turn on that bell so that way you can be notified whenever new content is released. And check us out tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we will be playing some Fortnite uh, Community Game Night. And don't forget to turn on that bell and become part of the zombie army today. And of course, we'll be happy to see you in tomorrow night's live stream. Bye!